JavaScript has three keywords which you can use to declare variables. There is a var, the let, and the const. The var keyword has always been in JavaScript since the language was created, but the let and the const was introduced in ES6. Now you have these three keywords. What are the differences? How do they behave with variables? That is what I will be simplifying in this video. Welcome to my YouTube channel where I simplify the web. If you'd love to see videos where I simplify JavaScript, React, CSS, web languages, and web technologies, then kindly subscribe to my YouTube channel. I'll be using three factors in this video to differentiate between var, let, and const. These factors are number one, the scope, number two, redeclaration and reassignment, and number three, hoisting. So let's start with var and look at these three factors. Firstly, global scope and local scope applies to variables declared with var. I'm using this simple example here. You can see we have this variable here and we have this variable that is declared inside this function. Global variables are variables that can be accessed everywhere in the file and are not restricted to specific points or specific functions. You can see this variable one here is a global variable because inside this function, we can access variable one and also let's say 70 lines later, we can also access variable one. If I come here and I run this file, you can see we have variable one logged from this function here and we have variable one logged 70 lines later. Local scope also applies to var variables. So inside this function here, I declare a variable two, which is a local scope. Remember local scope are for variables that are declared in functions. So here, if I try to console.log variable two, and if I also try to console.log variable two outside the function, if I come here and I run node test, you can see variable two, which is this one here from inside this function is logged. But then trying to log variable two outside the function, we have variable two is not defined. That's because variable two has a local scope, which is for this print function, and it cannot be accessed outside this print function as we are attempting to do here. The second factor, redeclaration and reassignment. Variables declared with var, you can actually redeclare such variables and reassign them to new values. What do I mean by that? So here we have variable one down here. I can say var variable one again, and I can assign this another value. I'm going to call it something else here. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to console log variable one. I'll console log it before this redeclaration and I'll console log it after the redeclaration. If I come here, clear this and I run the file, you can see by logging it here, we have variable one, which is this value here. And by logging it below here, we have something else. That's because we have redeclared the variable again with the var keyword and not only that we have reassigned it a new value so variables declared with var can be redeclared and they can also be reassigned and for the third factor which is hoisting hoisting applies to variables that you declare in javascript and when you use the var keyword this variable is going to be hoisted to the top of this function let's say there is something else in this function before this declaration here the declaration of variable 2 will be taken to the top of this function and this will make it's possible for you to be able to assess variable two before this line where you actually declared it. So let's say down here, I'm just going to console.log variable two and here I'm executing print. Now when I run this, instead of getting an error, because if you notice we're trying to assess variable two before it was actually declared, but when I run this, you see we have undefined instead of getting an error. And what this means is that variables declared with var are hoisted, but they are hoisted with a default value of undefined. So if I try to assess variable two after this this line has now been executed. If I run node test, you can see before we have undefined, then later we have variable two. That's because the hoisting applies to the variable with a default value of undefined until the initialization that you have set. I can do the same thing for the global variable. So let's say I try to assess this global variable before I actually declared it, and I try to assess it after I declared it. If I run node test, you see we have undefined, which is this one, and then we have variable one, which is this one, which means the variable one is hoisted to the top of the global scope. So that's it for var. Let's move on to let and also see how these factors apply to them. Firstly, let's look at scope. For variables declared with the let keyword, global scope, local scope, and block scope applies to such variables. So I have the same example that I use for var, but this time around I'm using the let keyword. Like I said, global scope applies to such variables. So inside this function here, I can assess variable one, which is a global variable, and I can also assess variable one, 70 or 100 
100 lines later as long as it is also in this file if i run node test you can see we have variable one which is the log from this function and we have variable one which is this log here also local scope applies to let variables so i can come here in this function and try to assess variable two and if i try to assess it outside this function we're going to get the same error that we got with var this should be two now if i run node test you can see we have variable two here which is the one we log from inside the function and this is valid because this is the scope of variable two in this print function but when we try to log variable two outside this function you can see here we have variable two is not defined but one more type of scope that the let keyword also works with is the block scope and this does not apply to var and what do i mean by block scope first let's understand what a block is a block in javascript is created with curly brackets so open curly brackets closing curly brackets and everything here is a block and a block is used to group multiple statements together and where can you find blocks in javascript you can find blocks in if statement if you remember with if statement you have if you have your condition and then you have your open curly braces so this here is a block another place you can find blocks is in switch statements where you have switch you have the expression that you want to switch between and then you have this opening and curly bracket and you have block i'm just going to use the if statement here to explain now what this means is that when you declare a variable let's say here we declare with let and we have variable 3 and we give it a string value of variable 3 it means this variable 3 now has a block scope that you can only access in this block let's say i have a condition of if one is equal to one which is true here i'm going to console.log variable 3 and i'm also going to try to console log variable 3 outside the block now watch what happens if i clear this and i run this you see we have variable 3 logged from inside the block that's because we are in the block scope so we can actually access this variable 3 but then by trying to assess variable 3 outside the block we have variable 3 is not defined that's because variable 3 has a block scope and this is outside the block scope but if you use var if you remember in var i didn't talk about block scope that's because var does not apply to block scope so if i use var here if i come here and i try to run this file you can see we have variable 3 from here and we have variable 3 from outside here so the var keyword does not apply with block scope only the let keyword does the second factor is reassignment and redeclaration just like var variables declared with let can be reassigned but they cannot be redeclared what this means is that for example this variable one here i can say variable one is equals to something else this is called reassignment so let's say up here i try to console.log variable one and then i try to also log it after the reassignment if i come here clear this and i run this you see we have variable one which is coming from here and then we have something else which is after the reassignment but you cannot redeclare so i cannot have another let variable one like this if i try to run this we're going to get an error identifier variable one has already been declared so with let you cannot redeclare but you can reassign but if you remember with var you can redeclare and you can reassign and let's move to the last factor which is hoisting variables declared with the let keyword can be hoisted but they are not hoisted with a default value so if i come up here and i try to assess variable 2 which i actually declared in the next line variable 2 will be hoisted but it's not going to be hoisted with a default value so if i come here and i try to run this so what we get cannot assess variable 2 before initialization so variable 2 is hoisted but because it doesn't have a default initialization we have this reference error but if you remember if you use var we get hoisting with a default initialization of undefined which is this let's move to the last keyword which is const and we're going to check how these factors also applies with const just like let global scope local scope and block scope applies to variables declared with the const keyword i have the same example here from the previous keywords but what i'm using here is const and const like i said global scope applies with const so we can also try to console log variable one hundred lines later and we can also try to console log variable one inside this function if i come here and i try to run this file you see here we have variable one here from the function and we also have variable one here calling it outside the function so because this is a global variable you can access it everywhere in this file also local scope applies with the const keyword so if i change this to variable two and i change this to variable two remember variable two is a local variable inside this print function if i try to run this you see we have variable two here which we log in this function but then trying to log it outside the function we have variable two is not defined that's because this is outside the local scope and just like the let keyword block scope also applies with the const keyword so here i can say if 
one equal to one and then i can declare another variable with const i'll call this variable three assign this the variable three string value and then here i'll try to console log variable three and also try to console log it outside here you can see we're trying to assess this outside its block scope which we created if you remember a block is curly bracket if i clear this and i run this oops you see we have variable three here logged from inside the block this is valid we're in the block scope we're assessing the variable three but then trying to assess it outside this block we have variable three is not defined and the second factor is reassignment and redeclaration with const you cannot redeclare or reassign variables this means i cannot reassign variable one to something else watch what happens if i try to run this file see we get assignments to constant variables so variable one is a constant and we cannot reassign it another value neither can we redeclare it so we cannot say const variable one equals to something again if we try to run it we're also going to get another error like identifier variable one has already been declared and moving on to the last factor which is hoisting const is actually similar with let variables declared with const are hoisted but without default initialization so if i come here and i try to assess variable two or let me try to assess variable one before the line it was actually declared even though variable one is going to be hoisted to the top of the global scope but because it doesn't have a default initialization we have this error that says cannot assess variable one before initialization it is hoisted but without a default initialization so these are the differences between the var the let and const keyword as they apply to declaring variables in javascript now you know the differences between these keywords which one should you use for declaring variables in javascript i recommend using the let and the const instead of using var and the reason i say this is for two things number one if you remember the var keyword i mentioned that you can redeclare variables and sometimes you may unintentionally declare a variable that you did not know you have already declared before now instead of getting an error because you're using the var keyword and it accepts that everything is going to work just fine so i believe in most cases you may not want to redeclare variables maybe you want to reassign new values but what is the point of redeclaring variables the second point is the hoisting behavior of the var keyword if you try to assess a variable before the line where you actually declared it you should get an error instead of getting a value that you do not expect which is undefined but when you use let and you use const then it ensures that the line where you declare that variable with the initialized value would be executed before you actually use that variable so for these two reasons i would recommend that you use let and const more than you use var and also when it comes to using let and const i also recommend that you use const as much as possible you should only use let when you are sure that you are going to reassign a new value to that variable but if you are not going to do that then use const always make constants in your applications as it keeps things safe and you're able to avoid cases where you do a reassignment that you do not intend to do so that's it for this video i hope you enjoyed and you learned something from it if you did please give the video a like share with others and also subscribe turn on notifications for more concept i'll be simplifying in javascript